and you wonder why you're living a shit life. You wonder why you're not living your dreams. You wonder why things are not working out for you. You wonder why you're in a toxic relationship. You wonder why you keep allowing and tolerating bullshit. It's because you're just disrespecting yourself. But little do you know that it's just been an unconscious journey up until now because if you're tuning into the Luke Mind Power podcast, you're becoming very aware. You're becoming aware of your thoughts. You're becoming aware of your feelings. You're becoming aware of your truth. You're becoming aware of your past. You're becoming aware of where you are in your life. And you're becoming aware that you're fucking unstoppable and that you're actually so powerful that you're going to freaking change your freaking life because you're just taking some small steps like this now to listen. I'm Luke, and you're listening to the Luke Mind Power Podcast. What's up, guys? Hello. How are you? Great to see you again. Great to be with you wherever you are on the bus, on the train, going to work, going to the gym, you're at the gym, you're at home, you're cleaning the house, you're at work, listening to the Luke Mind Power podcast because you need some inspiration for your day, wherever you are around the world. Welcome to another episode on the Luke Mind Power podcast. It is an absolute honor. It's a blessing. I'm here with Instagram and Facebook as well and TikTok. It's great to be with you. And I'm also with, you know, you are tuning in on on YouTube. And thank you so much for being a part of my journey and for being here with me because it is, it's not easy, you know, and there's a lot of solitude that I have to go through and a lot of experiences on a daily that I have to be with myself. And this is just part of my task and part of who I am. And it's okay. I'm, I'm very comfortable. I enjoy my own company. And that's something that I want to encourage you to learn to lean into a little bit more because we're so focused on the exterior all the time. We live in an exterior world where we're, you know, focusing on other people, whether it's our parents, our friends, our family, our partner, our children, our business, our work, whatever that is, you're always focusing externally and always forgetting about yourself. So that's why I encourage and invite you to spend more time with yourself, with your own thoughts and learn to enjoy your own company right? That way you are detaching yourself from being codependent. Don't be dependent on something outside of yourself to make you feel like you are good enough, to make you feel enough. You're enough exactly the way you are. You don't need anything outside of yourself. I'm curious, if you're tuning in right now, let me know in the chat or in the comment section, what is it that you find to be so valuable about this podcast? Like, what is it for you? Is it my energy? Is it my sense of humor? Is it my how I deliver it, how I deliver this information? Is it the motivation? Is it the way that I speak? Is it because I don't give a shit and I swear? And because you know I get both. There's people that don't like it, and there's people that love it. What is it about this podcast that you love so much? And if you have the time, this is actually a good opportunity not only for you guys to to comment, but you know. There's thousands of you, hundreds of thousands, actually. Uh, I mean, over 2 million people that follow me on social media. But there's only like 180 from last I checked, 180 reviews on the Apple podcast platform. And I've got like over 2 million followers. I'm like, guys, it's like over 14,000 Spotify followers. What are you guys doing? Like, I'm spending so much time with you. Where's the support? Where's the love? Like, give me some fucking love back. This is our relationship, man. Like, don't let me down. (laughs) You get on Apple Podcasts, like, spend fucking three or four minutes. I'm giving you guys like 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes of my time, all the fucking time. Go on Apple Podcasts and give me some love. Go and write a review and say, Luke, you're fucking awesome. I appreciate you so much, you know, and your time that you spend. And I want to write this review because I'm giving you some of my time and my uh, recognition that you just keep showing up. And I'm being serious because if you look at the the numbers, it's like 180 reviews and there's thousands of you guys that listen. Like the amount of comments that I see on YouTube especially is ridiculous. I'm like, shit, if only there was a link that they could connect to Apple Podcasts because it does. It does help me a lot. Um, that you actually go onto Apple Podcasts or on Spotify, wherever you listen, um, and you actually leave a review. It, it really does help me out. So I appreciate you guys for doing that. Whoever does go out of their way, because I know we're busy. 
you know, and everything needs to be uh, efficient, which is something that's very important for me. If it's not efficient, and let me tell you, I was staying in a hotel in Dubai, and the one of the the the, the guys came up to my room, actually gave me his name card, and he said, "Would you be willing to leave a review?" And he gave me his name, and funny enough, I never did it. It's like, why is it so hard to leave a review? And actually helps. Um, and then I, when I was leaving the hotel, they all put their name on the card and I told them to do that. And because I specifically wanted to leave a review because I loved the service, it was just amazing, you know, but get, guess what? Again, it took me like a week to do it. So I'm with you and I get it that it's a tedious task and it's like, couldn't be bothered, whatever, but it does make a difference for people. It really does, you know, and so I think it took me about a week and then I sat there, I went on to booking.com, I got an email as well from them and I sat there and I wrote out, you know, my satisfaction of staying at that hotel and the names of the people that were there and they really helped me out. You know, what you focus on expands. If you focus on being a good good person, if you focus on giving, if you focus on, um, you know, being of service, right, then that's a mental mental, positive mental program that you're creating in your own mind, which is very positive because that's all you then focus on. That's all you see in your life. You see it pop up because you're focusing on being good and doing the right thing and being of service. And so you get more of that in your life. It's like gratitude. If you focus on being grateful all the time, you're only going to fucking see the things that are that are good in your life. If you focus on being un uh, unhappy and you focus on all the bad things that are going on in your life and all the things that are not working out for you, we're going to see more of that. You're going to attract more of that into your life. You know, so I'm always focusing on trying to do the right thing. Um, <laughs> talk about doing the right thing. Let me show you this story. I went to a restaurant in the uh, city uh, the other day. And I'm sitting there and I'm having dinner. And so I'm sitting there and I ordered my uh, schnitzel and uh, it was a German restaurant in the rocks. And um, I'm eating my schnitzel and I ordered some sauerkraut, some cabbage, um, some some coleslaw, there's chips. And and then I ordered, normally I'd order a beer, but I, you know, I'm, I'm not drinking. And uh, not that I'm not drinking, but I just didn't want to order. I, normally if I go to a German restaurant, I order a freaking liter of beer, <laughs> you know, but times have changed. I'm not. 25 anymore right so and i didn't want to get trashed or pissed or or just drink that beer right then and there anyway so i ordered a a, a a sparkling water but the only size of sparkling water was a liter there was only one liter and i was like i don't want a liter i want 500 mils right half a liter so i ordered the liter and then i sat there and i'm sitting there and i'm drinking this water and i'm like there's this big security guard there and i'm like I'm in Sydney and 100% I'm not going to be allowed to take this bottle outside this restaurant and take it to my apartment because that's just I, – I, I know that's their rules. They probably won't let you take the glass because they don't want you walking around with a glass bottle because you might smack someone over the head. That's the level of thinking here, right? The, the safety, okay? Not that I'm a dangerous person, but, you know, I knew – it's going to be something of a problem possibly. So I sat there and I'm like, well, maybe I'm watching the security guard. He keeps walking in and out. And I'm like, well, maybe when I finish, I'm just going to grab the bottle and walk out. But then it was going against my conscience because I'm focusing on, you know, I want to do the right thing. I don't want to do shifty stuff, right? Anyway, so I sat there, I finished my food and then I finished my food and I was like, well, okay, I got a couple of options here. I could pick up the bottle and just leave and walk out, pretend like nothing and just walk out. And then if they don't stop me, they don't stop me. Or I could ask them, is it okay if I take it? Or I could just sit here and create a TikTok video and drink the water. So that's what I did. I spent 45 minutes sitting there at the table, drinking my water and creating a TikTok video. So there was no conscience there was no bad vibes there was nothing to worry about there was no stress there was no doing anything behind the books or shady or shifty or anything and so i put, i kept my peace yeah i am the type of person that that keeps the peace i'm not someone who creates a lot of drama or tries to front with anyone i've always been that way i've always been the one that kind of shies away and that was like just who i was i was never the fighter right? Even though like with what I do now, it does require confidence and it does require me to have to stand up for myself, which has been uncomfortable. There have been many, many instances where I've had to speak my truth and I've had to stand up for myself. Um, and before I just continue with this journey of 
confrontation or care confrontation. I just want to give you the information in regards to my live events. So if you're tuning into this right now and you want to come and see me speak live, okay, um, in the description below, in the show notes, you will see that there is a link there uh, which will say, you know, to join me or catch me live. Um, you, it'll take you to my website, which is lukemindpower.com slash live dash events. And you'll be able to click on that link and that will take you to a page that will show you my upcoming live events. So uh, there is a live event on the 17th of September in Melbourne. So if you want to join us and you're in Melbourne or you're in any other state in Australia or wherever you are, you want to come to the live event. I'm not stopping you from traveling overseas or wherever you are around the world. The live event is there for everybody, not just for people in Melbourne. But if you are in Melbourne, of course, take some action, invest in yourself and join us because it's going to be a transformational experience. And then you've got the next event, which is Laguna Beach. And I'm also going to be speaking in Atlanta. And then possibly there's going to be other events as well, because I'm already collaborating with some amazing people in the US. Uh, so it's very possible that I will be doing some live events, uh, possibly in Detroit and Chicago as well. Um, that's possible. Um, but also other events are very possible around the US as well. I just haven't got there yet to connect and to be able to brainstorm and bring some other opportunities to life. So I know that there's so many people messaging me going, come to London, and that's on the cards as well, but that's going to look around January or February uh, 2024 um, for the UK and Europe. So that's that's happening. Uh, but it's not until next year, but because I am going to the US, um, I'm connecting with some amazing people. So I definitely will be looking at creating something uh, while I'm there. Locations haven't been confirmed yet, but stay tuned and make sure that you keep checking and keep listening to the podcast. I mean, you, you can't miss it. I'm going to keep telling you about it. So, you know, just pay attention and, uh, and click on the links there and it'll take you to the page where you can buy the tickets. Okay. So let's get back to care frontation, confrontation and speaking your truth and standing up for yourself. Okay. Because this is one of the secrets to my success is to be able to speak my truth. And one of the things, as I mentioned to you, is that I don't like confrontation. It's just not my vibe. I don't want to get involved. There's people arguing and drama and all this shit. Go fucking do it yourself, man. I'm not interested. Some people are not actually doing it on purpose. And some people, if they hurt you in a physical form or in a, you know, a, a verbal uh, format, well, they may not even be aware that they've triggered or hurt you just because that's their personality. That's their nature. That's just how they've shown up. Maybe it was an experience while you were under the influence of alcohol, for example, like in my instance. It's, it's being aware, but knowing that if you continue to shrink yourself, and this is why I have grown so much, because I decided to stop shrinking myself, to stop not standing up for Luke, because Luke used to be very quiet, and Luke used to never understand what his emotional reactions were, why they were happening, why he was getting a red face, why his heart rate would suddenly increase, why his body would just fucking just react in this way and my hands would start shaking and I'd get all sweaty and shit and what, what is that? So I went through that for years from when I was freaking 12 to all the way to 33 and if I go back to like how it evolved, you know, it evolved from, from my physical appearance. That's where it evolved from me being really super self-conscious about my physical appearance. It's just the truth. My physical appearance has been the biggest challenge, right? Notice I didn't say problem. It's not a problem. It has been a challenge for me to overcome because I had to continue to be bombarded with people judging me, people calling me names, people specifically identifying me and objectifying me because of my physical appearance, how I look. Can't do this because you're like that. You look like this. You look like this. Why are you not eating enough? Because you, you have to eat more to put freaking more fat on your body because the way you are is not good. That over time, hearing these names constantly being called 
by my by people who I was friends with and you know family members or you know and then that conditions you and programs you to 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 con- constantly be self-conscious of yourself so what does that then do well that then makes you feel insecure about yourself and then you look at yourself and you hate yourself you look at yourself and you don't love yourself you look at yourself and you don't like what you see in the mirror So then what does that mean? Well, then that means that now how do I make myself feel better about myself? Well, I'm going to try and hide. So I feel very insecure. I'm not outspoken. I'm fucking inspoken. Inspoken is not – I'm fucking not saying anything at all. That's fucking inspoken. No such such fucking word. I'm just making it up. So now I'm I'm inverted or I'm introverted and then I'm fucking quiet. And the truth is, you know, I was seeing a friend's story and she was making a hammock for, for introverts. And she was like, this is an introvert hammock where you can um, just hide yourself. So if there's a lot of people around, you can lie in this hammock and you can close it up so that people don't d- disturb you. And I get it because maybe you can label me as an introvert, but I'm not. When I'm around the right people, I'm an extrovert. I fucking love talking when I'm around the right energy. But I love, to, I love my solitude. I love peace and quiet. Like, get out of my way. I want to freaking just focus on my shit. So I really do love that. And again, I think that it's just all about balance. You find your balance. You know, it's great to have some time to yourself and have those moments where you have a lot. Of, I like a lot of time to myself to focus on my shit. But then there are also times where I enjoy spending time with friends or spending time with my family, you know, or people that, again, that can reciprocate my energy, can match my energy or higher. This whole self-consciousness was created not by me, by people around me, by my family, by my friends, by the world, by magazines, by TV, by the comparison, the lack of confidence within myself. So then it became the comparison of what everybody else looks like. So when you don't look like everybody else, in terms of your physical appearance, then what are you trying to do? Because that is the core innate nature of us as humans is that we want to gravitate towards community and to fit in. And that's why I always talk about it. You're not supposed to fucking fit in. Why are you trying to fit in for? Stop trying to be like other people. You're not other people. You are you. You're completely distinct and different. You are unique. Stop trying to fucking fit in. Stop trying to be like other people. Stop trying to look like other people. Stop trying to dress like other people. I know that we emulate each other, and that's why you become the energy that you surround yourself with. It's contagious. And I know that sometimes you are inspired by what other people do and what other people say and how they dress. I get it. I understand. But still, don't let that deviate your path from your true authenticity of who you are. Remember who you are. When you don't have self-confidence and you're not living in your purpose and you're not living your most authentic life, then what do you do? You try to conform. You try to fit in. You want to feel validated and accepted. And so what does that mean? Well, then you try to be like other people, which is what I did for so many fucking years. Why do you think I know so much? Because I've fucking been through this shit. You can ask myself, what, what happened to you? This is what happened to me. For so many years, I was freaking trying to cover up myself. I was trying to wear specific types of clothing. I was always so self-conscious. I spoke about this at my event in Sydney. And funny enough, I had a mirror to give an example of how I would look at myself in the mirror every time, for fuck's sake. Every fucking time I walk past the mirror, I've got this fucking like focus on my backside, on my ass, because it's not big enough or some shit, right? So I'm so self-conscious of my fucking ass. And every time I walk past the mirror, I have to look at it to see, does it look good? Is it big enough? Can you see it fucking from through my jeans or the pants that I'm wearing? I couldn't fucking go to a shop and buy fucking jeans or a pair of pants unless it looked good enough for me so that when I wore it, I wouldn't look too skinny. That's how fucked my mind was. That's how the world has conditioned and programmed my fucking mind to make me think and feel about myself all the time. Like you feel my frustration. You wonder why the fuck is Luke so crazy? Why is Luke so positive? Why is Luke so uplifting? Why is he so motivated? Why is he so passionate? Why does he show up the way that he does? Why does he speak the way that he speaks? Because for so many fucking years, I had to deal with this shit of not feeling good enough and being so self-conscious about my physical appearance that did not come from me. That's why I'm so fucking passionate about loving yourself. You get it? That's why I'm here to help you love yourself. And if you want to love yourself, then reach out to me so I can fucking help you go through the journey so that you can reclaim your life. Send me a direct message on Instagram and say, Luke, I've had a fucking enough. I want my, I want me back. 
I want to live my dreams. I want to work with you. I want to do your fucking program so that I can transform my life because I'm sick and tired of living this way, being against myself, letting the world control me. All you need to do is reach out to me and I'll help you because I went through this shit suppressing all of this fucking shit that we're holding on to, this pain, insecurity, fear, doubt, lack of confidence in yourself. So what do we do? We keep it in. We don't tell the people that we need to tell to fuck off or to understand us or to appreciate us or to just listen to what it is that we're really feeling within ourselves. We don't do it because we're fucking scared. And so you continue to go through your life in this fear state and then you wonder why you're living a shit life. You wonder why you're not living your dreams. You wonder why things are not working out for you. You wonder why you're in a toxic relationship. You wonder why you keep allowing and tolerating bullshit, disrespect from people. It's because you're just disrespecting yourself. But little do you know that it's just been an unconscious journey up until now because if you're tuning into the Luke Mind Power podcast, you're becoming very aware. You're becoming aware of your thoughts. You're becoming aware of your feelings. You're becoming aware of your truth. You're becoming aware of your past. You're becoming aware of where you are in your life. And you're becoming aware that you're fucking unstoppable and that you're actually so powerful and that you're going to freaking change your freaking life because you're just taking some small steps like this now to listen. You're becoming aware. I wasn't aware. I was sleeping, man. I was sleeping. The amount of unconscious toxic, destructive, habitual behaviors that were controlling my life, this paradigm that I was stuck in, this fucking K-hole. I remember fucking taking ketamine. Anyone heard of ketamine? It's a fucking drug for horses. It's a horse tranquilizer. I was fucking taking that shit back in fucking 2000 and fucking hell, 2005 or six or seven. I Back when I was fucking young, this is how fucked up we were. (laughs) We were taking this shit. It was making us laugh and it was just weird. And apparently there's this saying when you're taking fucking horse tranquilizer, it's called a K-hole. And that's what I was fucking in for a long time. I was stuck in a K-hole, absolutely unconscious, lost fucking oblivious to my trauma or my pain or my insecurities or my fears, just trying to fit in, fit in with the crowd. So I was stuck in this K-hole for years. And I think many of us are stuck in this K-hole of just not being aware enough to know that we are so extraordinarily powerful, more than we can imagine. And if we don't take control of our minds, the world will take control of you and you will be controlled. That's the truth, and that is why I'm here. My name is not Luke Mind Power. It's not called Luke Luke Mind, uh, you are being controlled by your own mind. No, it's called Luke Mind Power to remind you that you are in control of your mind. One of the questions that I've got a lot of, a lot of in the past was, how did you quit cocaine? Because that was a good seven-year journey for me. You know, I mean, like from the ages of 17 to 33, I mean, I used a lot of different drugs, ecstasy, uh, MDMA, fucking that horse tranquilizer, K-hole shit. What's it called? Ketamine. Ketamine. Fucking ketamine. (laughs) Uh, Cocaine. uh, Marijuana, of course. It's always in there. Ethanol. Alcohol fucking ethanol alcohol is a fucking drug all right but and but it's legal fucking go figure eh? let's make fucking alcohol it's a drug but it's legal how does that work anyway so when people ask me how did you quit how did you stop using cocaine and that's part of where luke mind power came from was because i looked back and i was just like damn how did i do that how did i just stop cold turkey. I didn't, I didn't go to no therapy or do some sort of like, you know, coaching or, or go and see a psychologist or, or go to counseling or, you know, something to do with like helping me to stop using cocaine. I just said, that's enough. Part of it was stepping into a new purpose, a new vision, having a goal, 
and obviously where I, where I where I was living was a was definitely part of the fact that I moved from a one bedroom apartment where I was living by myself and that's where I was having access to this cocaine and I was using a lot of it and so I had, you know it was people were coming over all the time and so it was easier for me to do it there and then when I moved to my sister's it made it harder because she has three kids and I was like well I can't do that shit there you know so that kind of life I had to let go of that that life right living by myself and I moved in put myself out of my comfort zone and and you know, I had a goal. I said, I'm moving to Poland. So I had a goal. I was working towards something. And in order for me to achieve that goal, you know, I wasn't going to achieve it by continuing to live the same life. Again, anyone who, if you're taking shit right now, I'm not judging you, right? But I'm telling you that you have the power to let shit go, to stop using shit. It's a process, you know, it's not something that you just stop using straight away. It's something that you probably continue to do it like maybe for the rest of your life, you know, but you get control of your shit. Everyone's different. And I'm not here to tell you how to do it or what to do or what not to take or what to take, whatever, man. It's your responsibility to have goals. No, it's not actually. It's not your responsibility to do fuck all. You don't have to do shit. You just need to do what is right for you. But how do you want to like let shit go that may be controlling your life or maybe deteriorating your health may not be helping you for, for example and you know if you're taking drugs on a daily basis constantly well guess what it will lower your vibration it just does man it puts you on a lower frequency you don't have the energy you don't have the 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 confidence the motivation the excitement like yes i can do it come on get up and smash your goals and go to the gym and 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 live your dreams and go and speak up on stage and and go outside and feel great and 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 live your best life you're not going to feel that way if you're constantly taking drugs simple as that so think about it about where you want to be in 12 months and set yourself up to win set yourself a goal set yourself a target have something you're working towards because that for me was everything and as soon as I had a target, as soon as I had something I was aspiring to achieve, I wanted change, man, that became my priority. I was like a laser target right on that fucking target, January 2020, 2019, moving to Poland. That was my target. That's why I say like in order for you to change and grow to 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 create the reality that you you want to create in your life, you got to let things go. And, uh, you know, that comes with not being – understood comes with people talking about you talking behind your back but who cares we give a shit so much about what people think of us and what we're doing and all this crap and i could not give a shit honestly i'm living my life and if you don't understand me if you don't respect me if you don't like it good fucking whatever but it's not going to deter me. It's not going to change my path. It's not going to make me think differently. It's not going to stop me from doing what I love. I'm just going to keep doing what Luke does best, you know, and it doesn't matter about your opinions because I get to decide the life that I create. I am the master manifester of the reality that I'm creating every single day. And whether my family agrees, whether people that I let go or don't talk to anymore judge me, talk about me are behind my back or whatever, who cares? Who gives a shit, man? Your dreams are worth chasing. Your fucking goals are worth achieving. Go at them in full force and don't let any fucking person stop you, man. Just stay the course because if you continue and you continue to show up and you stay consistent, that shit over time compounds so much that one day you'll wake up and you won't even understand how you got to where you are and realize that, wow, I didn't know I could do that. Shit, man. I'm fucking amazing. Wow. You're not waiting for permission. You're not waiting. I'm just reminding you. I don't need to give you permission to shine. I don't need you to give you permission to rise like a phoenix. I'm just here being an example, living my truth, speaking my truth, being as real as I can be, being authentic. I will not dim my light because you send me a negative comment or 
just a comment. Let's just move away from positive and negative. You put a comment in the chat or on YouTube or wherever you're listening to this, right? You say, don't talk like that or don't be like this or whatever. You say whatever you want. I don't give a shit. Say whatever you want to say, but I will not quit. I will not stop being myself. I will just keep shining my light, even if I get challenged, even if one day I'm on stage or even if someone fucking heckles and says, you shouldn't do that. Even if I'm on the news one day and they ask me a question that I can't answer and I feel like a fool, I'm going to try to do my best. Or even if someone challenges me on a panel and says, you can't do this or whatever, and I get triggered or I get red or I stuff up or I make a mistake or I I don't know how to answer it, I'm not going to quit just because of a circumstance like that because I know it's going to come. It's inevitable. There are people that are not going to like what I have to say. There are people that are not going to like like my energy. There are people that are going to come back at me and say, you can't do this or you can't do that or you can't speak like that. And this is the what I'm stepping into. I'm going to get that. I'm expecting it. And it comes with the territory. But I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to go, oh, my God, there's going to be an experience in a couple of years' time where you're going to be on a panel with some people and they're going to judge you and they're going to criticize and ridicule you and they're going to tell you that you're fucking this and this and this. And then, oh, well, you shouldn't do this anymore because of that. Whatever, bro. It comes with that, you know. With much reward comes much responsibility and it means that not everybody's going to agree with you. But does that mean that you quit? Does that mean that you give up on yourself? Does that mean that you stop living your freaking dream for one person because one person doesn't agree or two people or three or fucking 10 people try to bring you down or they don't think that you're good enough or they think that what you speak about is bullshit and that you're too this or you're too that and so I'm going to stop because of them? So you're wondering, why am I not living my best life? Why is things not going my way? Because you're not fucking going your own way. You're not going your own way for yourself. Your peace is your power. You've heard me say this before. If you're just tuning into this episode for the first time, understand that your peace is everything. When you can understand that your peace is everything, then you will get into alignment with your purpose. You're, you'll get into alignment with living your dreams, not your fears. I saw this video today about a guy walking up to another guy and saying, you know, if you could talk to your younger self, what would you say to him? And his response and let me know the answer to your to this question for you guys like if you this is just what i'm going to answer but if you could talk to your younger self what would you say now that you know what you know if you could go back to when you were 12 and talk to that 12 year old what would you tell that that person right what would you tell your 12 year old self or maybe your 18 year old self or maybe your 25 year old self whatever your 30 year old self what would you tell them so, and this answer that the person gave, I, I agreed upon as well. And basically he said, nothing. I wouldn't say anything. I would just let them go through life and experience what they have to experience because everything that they're going through is very important. It's making them, it's building their character, it's hurting them, it's, it's, it's important. You know, and I did agree with him because I was also asked and challenged with this question when I first started. When I was on Instagram Live with Kevin, Evan, Evan, not Kevin, Evan Carmichael, and he asked me, he said, "Yeah, what, what, what would you say to your younger version of yourself?" I didn't know what to say, and then I came back six months later, and I said to Evan, I came on his Instagram Live again, and I said that you know I wouldn't tell him anything to change. I just say, listen, bro, just keep going. I said because everything that you're going through is building you, and it's helping you to become the extraordinary person that you are going to become. But you need to be fueled. You need to go through the challenges. You need to go through your adversity. You need to go through the rejections. You need to be very self conscious about your physical appearance. You have to be insecure about yourself. You need to get bullied, and you need to be called names, and you need to go through all this shit. You need to feel like you don't fit in. You need to feel like you're very different. You need to feel very insecure about yourself for all these years so that you can get to this place eventually and then decide that it's time for me to change. And that is why you have to go through everything because now you wouldn't be the same person if you hadn't gone through all that stuff. That's like the the hard truth to realize, you know, as much as, you know, for example, let's just use, let's just say, for example, you've been in a marriage for 20 years. And after five years of that marriage, you knew that this is shit. 
this is not right. I'm not happy. This is toxic. This is abusive. You felt like there's no way out. Maybe it's a religious indoctrination or belief that you cannot get a divorce, for example, because you know in some religions I know that that's just not possible. You're not allowed to get a divorce, so you have to stay. Right, so no matter what is going on, you just have to stay. You can't get a divorce, and then for for whatever other reason, you know, you made up a decision not to leave, but it's abusive, it's negative, it's toxic, it's manipulative, it's just shit. It's not what you signed up for. And so after five years, you knew that this is wrong, and you don't want to be here anymore. Now you look back after twenty years, and you're fed up. You've had enough, and you're just like, I'm done. I'm leaving. Then you leave and then you go and live your best life. So what would you say to your younger self, given the fact that after five years you knew that you had to leave? So I would think about it and go, well, you you can definitely appreciate the pain that you've had to endure in that relationship. And you knew that you should have left, but you didn't. So now you endured all these 15 years of pain and trauma and, and abuse. And so now you've been fueled fucking hell, man. Like you've been, you've got so much pain in you of what you've been going through all your life. And you would go now because this pain is your fuel. Let me tell you, it's one, it's a biggest, greatest blessing. You've just got to heal from it and then now be able to transmute that into your power so that you can step it into your purpose so that you can freaking get into alignment with your dreams and manifest everything that you desire. That's the purpose of why you're here. And you can do it. That's what I'm here for, to help you do that. You just need to send me a message. That's it. So you go back to now thinking about this and you go, well, okay, what would I tell my younger self? So would you now rob yourself of that 15 years of pain, knowing that that 15 years of pain is what you're going to use now to live your freaking best life? Would you say to yourself, well, okay, I'll go back to my younger version of myself. And at the 10-year mark of that marriage, then I would tell myself, hey, Don't do what most people do and stay for another 10 years. You know damn well that you are not happy. Fuck it off. Let it go. And go and fucking transform your life. Heal. Build your confidence up. Build your self-worth up. Become the best version of yourself so that you can actually attract a healthy relationship. Don't waste another 10 years of your life in this bullshit. So there's the question. It's like, would you go, would you, would you tell that or would you allow yourself to endure the pain, whatever the pain is, endure that next 15 years and go through all this shit so that now you can be free and be fueled with all of that adversity from the past to be unstoppable, unbreakable, unshakable, indestructible. Because it's true, like I am who I am now because of rejection especially in relationships that not only on my own rejection, but just how I was conditioned and stuff like that. But, you know, I've had relationships that just didn't never worked for me. And it's not to say that they were bad people. No, they were not bad people. It just, they weren't ready f- to receive my love. They weren't ready for me, but I yearned for that love and that attention and it wasn't given back. So there was rejection that was felt and experienced in my position. So, coupled with insecurities, self-consciousness, not feeling good enough, comparison to other people, comparing myself to other people. Again, where does that come from? Because of my own insecurities, not feeling good enough, being very self-conscious of my physical appearance. Everything is working in the favor of making Luke feel like he is a piece of shit, not lovable, not worth it not worthy of success, not worthy of happiness, not not intelligent enough. Everything was working in that favor to put me in the corner. But if you believe that change is possible, you believe that you can heal, you believe that you can grow, you can believe that you can live your dreams, man. I'm living my dreams. And I was always wondering. I was always the one. Like, what is it? What am I? What, what am I good, am I good at? Who? What am I supposed to be doing? And so I'm proud to say that I figured it out because I was so lost. And I was so heavily programmed and conditioned mentally to be against myself. And that's why I am so passionate about helping others achieve the same. It's fucking glorious, man. It is the best. It's the best shit you could ever do in your life is to discover yourself. 
And it's a challenge for me to reach people as well. It's a challenge for me to like get as many people to come on board and go, guys, like this is the real deal, man. You are not getting involved and taking action and doing this work with us, with me, with my team. You're missing out, man. Like this is where your next level is. And I just keep fighting. I'll keep fighting and fighting and fighting until, you know, one of, um, I think I've mentioned Ben before. Ben's one of my clients in our group coaching in the Superpower Mastermind in the Kings um, because I have two communities. I have the women and the men and and we have the queens and the kings. And uh, and I remember Ben, when he first started, he um, he's like, man, you don't need to convince me, bro. He goes, here's the money. Just fucking take it, <laughs> you know? And he goes, I've listened to every single episode of your podcast. He goes, I'm fucking ready, bro. Just fucking here. So I get it, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. And my purpose is to continue to speak and share because, you know, eventually, you know, just not everybody needs to work on themselves. I get that. But, you know, only you know, you know, and you know that there's something within yourself that you may need to work on and that there's may, may need to be addressed or something that you're not, not speaking or hiding or suppressing. Only you know that. Or maybe you're looking for a positive community and this is exactly what I provide because you, with whom you surround yourself with is whom you become. And if you think about it, right, you go, well, what kind of a community would Luke surround himself with? Well, who the fuck is Luke? <laughs> like it's an obvious answer. You think that I'm going to be creating an environment that's toxic and negative and shit and I'm going to be this person? You're freaking kidding yourself. I'm only ever able to surround myself with greatness, with people who are taking action, showing up for themselves, believing that it's possible to change, growing, sharing their wins, creating their own businesses and starting their own life again, rebirth, reconnection, discovery. This is what it's all about, but grow when, you know, I remember um, I was having, we're having a group coaching session. I don't know if I've mentioned this. Maybe I was talking about this with our, in, within our group coaching space. I was talking about um, Rob. If you're listening to this, Rob, man, I'm so proud of you. Love you, man. Um, Rob from, from Sydney. And he was really in a tough place, you know, and there was, there was six of us in the, in the, in the breakout room on our coaching call. And, and I just, after we all spoke, cause everyone spoke. And everyone was having a, ma a great, amazing time. Everyone's growing. Everyone's feeling good. But Rob was the odd one out. He was feeling like shit. He was in a downer. He was, you know, just applied for a new job, got a new job. And, um, you know, he, he wasn't in the best place. You know, he wasn't, the job wasn't what he, what he wanted it to be. And it just dawned on me. And I said, I stopped after everyone spoke. And I said, Rob, I said, listen, man. I said, bro, I said, you forgot where you are, man. I said, you're surrounded by greatness. I said, this community is greatness. I said, we all have something special. We have greatness within us. We are fucking powerful. And you think that you're going to keep showing up to these coaching sessions and that you're not going to grow and transform? I said, I bet you, man. I bet you in four weeks' time, we're going to talk to you and you're going to go, this has changed, this has changed, this is what happened, this is what I did. And you're going to be a different version of yourself because you cannot be the same when you are surrounded by people taking action, people growing, people believing in themselves, people activating their greatness every single day because they're learning to love themselves and look at themselves and appreciate themselves and respect themselves and speak up for their truth. You cannot stay the same. You cannot live on this lower vibration that I'm not good enough and I can't do this when you've got people around you that are taking action, showing up. I keep getting messages from Sasha, my friend from the Shaolin Temple from China, because he just went back there and he's sending me freaking messages and he's showing me videos of what he's doing and stuff. And I'm like, oh, man. And I feel it, man. I feel the Shaolin Temple China is calling Luke Mindpal back. I can't wait to go back. Honestly, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to change my life again because I just that experience. And I invite you guys like. Seriously, if you have not been to China, to the Shaolin Temple, to do Kung Fu and to like live that kind of life and live that kind of lifestyle, wow, that's what changed my life so much when I went there in 2019, no, November to February, just when COVID started. Whew, you know, I, I can't wait to go back because it's going to test me, pressure me. It's going to stress me. It's going to push me. You know, um, I'm actually looking forward to going back there.
But anyway, guys, that's my time for today. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Please share it with your friends, share it with people so that more people get inspired to wake up to their greatness, to not live in fear and doubt and insecurity and lack. This is about you living your dreams, living your best life. And I hope that I see you at one of my live events. If you want to check that out for the tickets, just go in the description. There is a link there that's for my live events, my next live event. Okay, click on that link and get your tickets to Melbourne, Laguna Beach, Atlanta and other events that I'm going to be speaking at. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. And every single place that I go to um, is a place of greatness. Um, and that's all you're going to become and experience more of um, when you take that kind of action to to invest in yourself. It's the best thing that you can ever do. Uh, I know myself how much I've invested in my own personal growth and development um, over the years um, to help me to become this person who I am. So I invite you all to get your tickets to my shows, to Melbourne, especially if you're coming to Melbourne, can't wait to see you. Go onto my website and click the link and get your tickets uh, because it's going to be absolutely phenomenal in Melbourne. I can't wait. And also, if you are at that place, you're at the crossroads, you're feeling like, damn, something needs to shift. I'm ready for transformation. I'm ready to transform my life. I'm ready to grow. I'm ready to get out of my comfort zone. I've had enough. You're at that place because you do. You got to be there. You really do. You really got to be at that place because sometimes it doesn't hurt enough. And when it doesn't hurt enough, you kind of settle. You're like, oh, you know, I can handle it. It's better. You need to be hurt over and over and over and over again. Like you need to fuck yourself up over and over. And sometimes that can be like alcohol, for example. You need to get hung over, fucking feeling like shit, drinking, 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 week after week after week after week. You need to be in that manipulative relationship and getting fucking physically or verbally abused over and over and over and over and over and over again until, not that I'm promoting that, but especially, you know, being in a toxic relationship. But I'm just saying sometimes you have to go through the pain and 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 the pain, and the pain over and over and over again until you go, ah, oh, this is wrong. I can't do this anymore. This is hurting me. This is not healthy. This is not good. Sometimes that's what you need to go through. Sometimes you need to be disrespected at work over and over again until you go, fuck this. I need to do something about this. And that's why I'm calling you right now. That if you're at that place and you're like, I need to heal, I need to grow, I want to wake up, I want to live my dreams, not my fears, I want to surround myself with greatness, I want to surround myself with a like-minded community of people taking action from all around the world. If that is you, ladies and gentlemen, come and join us in the Superpower Mastermind program. It's a 20-week program. It's nothing less than massive transformation. And you get to surround yourself with people like myself my leadership team of success coaches and everybody else in the community that is taking action to step into their purpose and live their freaking best life. Superpowered confidence is what I call it. And all you need to do is actually on YouTube, a link that says lukemindpower.com slash brainstorm. And you can click that link to book a check-in and appointment brainstorm with one of my success coaches um, so that we can figure out if and how we can possibly help you. Okay. So all you need to do is click on that link. Um, but otherwise, if you're on Spotify or Inst uh, Spotify or Apple, just come on my Instagram, Luke Mindpower on Instagram. Send me a message and go, I want to get started in the program. How do I get started? Just fucking talk, communicate, and I'm here for you, okay? So take some action. I'm here for you. The biggest investment that you can ever make in your life is in your personal development and healing journey here because your reality is a direct reflection of the relationship that you have with yourself, okay? So don't be your own worst enemy. Get out of that shit and out of that funk and out of that crap, okay, that I was in for freaking so many years so that you can take charge and be in control and be the captain of your destiny. I'm sending you so much love and I'll catch you on the next episode and at our next live events as well. I'll see you in person. So peace out guys, much love. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and growth. If you're ready to grow and reach your full potential and find inner peace, send me a DM that says, I want inner peace and I'll send you the next steps. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. When you change your mind, you change your whole life. So don't hesitate and send that DM over to me. Myself and my team can't wait to meet you and witness your transformation in full glory. See you next week.